Minnesota Twins hosting the New York Mets, and the Mets are plus 162 on the money line. The Twins are minus 195. The over-under, eight and a half runs. The Mets getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 135, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one run, you win. And the Twins laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 115, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by a minimum of two. Thank you to everyone who has joined the Discord. If you have not, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the Memberships tab. It's $14.99. Understandably, I get it. It's like another subscription. However, we're looking at going 5-0 and today in my MLB Best Picks. And if you happen to pick just one of those games, chances are the membership paid for itself for the month or for a year or however much you decide to use it for. Now... Meagle did not pitch against the Met, uh, the Twins last year or this year. They are 2-3 and three as a team in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of 2.8. He's averaging five innings pitched and 5.4 strikeouts per game in those games. The last game that he pitched in pushed for the over-under, and the under is 3-1-1 one one in his last five starts. Now, for the Twins, this is a different story because they have Lopez, and Lopez pitched a bunch against the Mets last year as a member of the Marlins. Five and a third, seven, uh, seven runs, six of which were earned. They lost that game 10 to four. That was in New York, and he struck out five. Then five innings, one run, one earn. They won that game five to two. That was also in New York. He struck out five. Two and two thirds, six, uh, six runs, six earned. They lost that game nine to three. He struck out one. Three and two thirds, eight runs, eight earned. They lost that game 11 to three. He struck out two. And then six innings, three runs, three earned. They won that game six to four. He struck out five. They are four and one, the Twins, in his last five starts. He's averaging five and two thirds innings pitched and 5.2 strikeouts per game with an ERA of 1.8. Now, the over has hit in his last three appearances against the Mets. And in his last three, he averages four innings, nine hits, 5.7 earned runs, 2.7 strikeouts, one walk, and 80 pitches. Now, mind you, that was with a different team and a weaker team. I mean, the Marlins are in playoff contention this year, but I'd like to say that the Twins roster is a tad bit better. But, you know, you pitch against the team a lot. They do get to see you, so you are more likely to get lit up. Head-to-head, -head, the home team's on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. and four. The Twins are on a two-game winning streak. The Mets are 7-3 and three against the Twins in their last 10. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. And the under 8.5 runs is 6-4 and four in their last 10. The two games they played this year, the Twins won 5-2 and 8-4. The Mets are 4-6 and six in their last 10. They're on a three-game losing streak, and the under is 5-4-1 and one in their last 10. For the Twins, they are 6-4 and four in their last 10, 4-1 and one in their last 5, and the over-under is 5-5 five and five in their last 10 games. I understand that Lopez, the Mets did see him a lot last year, but that this Mets team and that Mets team are two different teams, and he's in a rhythm right now. So I'm going to... Uh, take the Twins with the money line. I'm going to take the Twins laying the runs, and I'm going to go under and hope for the best and say that this isn't a pattern that his new team won't get. He won't get lit up on his new team. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.